Uh, once again, my name is Stephen Barber. Uh, I'm a filmmaker here in uh, Southern California, and I've got a really noble film company called Vanilla Fire Productions. When you get a chance, you just go to vanillafire.com. These are some of the films uh, that we've made in the last decade. A lot of a lot of World War II stuff, uh, but we've uh, branched out into some more contemporary stuff. As you see, as you'll see through this presentation, we've been able to make the Oscar shortlist three different times. So quite an honor to be able to do that. Next slide, please. Uh, this is the newest movie that we have on Amazon Prime right now around the world. It's called The World's Most Dangerous Paper Rat. I suggest everybody get a chance to uh, watch it. It's a phenomenal film. It's the best thing we've ever done. It has an extremely powerful female lead named Laura Rausch in it, who was a combat photographer for 12 years and lost 19 of her friends uh, due to combat. So it's, it's an it's extremely compelling film about the men and women of Stars and Stripes newspaper. And it's, I really suggest you, you reach out to... Uh, Amazon Prime when you get a free moment. So that's kind of who we are. Next slide, please. So this is the beginning. So what you see here is about, about 18 months ago. This was a uh, uh, at the, Love, the Loveland Studios of um, Mark is on my left there, you'll see. And then George is on my right. These are two of the greatest sculptors uh, on the planet Earth, uh, George and Mark and Joey Boehner in the middle, another unbelievably up, up and coming uh, um, sculptor. I was really fortunate. I had seen work that they had done. So what had happened was I had a documentary that I was gonna do on Buzz Aldrin. It uh, fell apart for many reasons. I went out on a bicycle ride and on that bicycle ride, I envisioned building the crew of, uh, of Apollo 11. I actually envisioned to build tw 12 moonwalkers. And I was just, uh, when I took it to the Kennedy Space Center and to NASA, they, they shut me down immediately. But then a couple of weeks later, Somebody reached back out to me and said, you know, Mr. Barber, could you do just the crew of Apollo 11? And could you find the money, which was substantial, three quarters of a million dollars? And can you do this in 90 days? 